Hello and welcome to the live session tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the inner circle tonight. Okay. Tonight we are going to be dealing with the topic how to learn like a master. How to learn like a master. And what prompted this topic? I mean, what prompted this? What brought about this? I found out a lot of people have challenges with learning. They have serious challenges with learning. If it is not the fact that they don't enjoy reading books, but they have to force themselves to read through because they think that is the only way they need to learn, uh, it could be something else, something entirely different. Probably they don't enjoy their pattern of learning, the pattern of learning that they are currently utilizing okay or they don't even know what exactly to learn right and you know in this journey that you are in in this journey that you are in that you know you need to build you need to grow you need to now give what you have built right you've you've come to the point where you've invested in yourself and you're ready to emit the energy and this is one thing i really want to solicit from you i really want to beg you huh to understand what process means. To understand that in the journey of growth and purpose, there has to be specific exit periods devoted to your growth. You cannot shine when you have not accumulated light. You cannot give what you don't have. If you don't make time for learning, you are going to get to the point where you start sounding like a broken cymbal. You know this noisy instrument that is used in church that looks like um, plates that they hit together sometimes? You start sounding like that. You know, initially you may hear the sound and it interests you. And all of a sudden it starts becoming boring and annoying. Like, why does this have to clang so many times over and over and over and over again? So you need to learn. You need to consistently keep updated. <sighs> Not today. Not today. Why am I yawning today again? So, like I was saying, you need to be consistently updated, right? With the right information, with new information, with new bodies of knowledge, so that when you go out to, to show up, you show up differently. Okay? So, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Good. <laughs> Linda said she likes my accent. Probably it's Qatar that is making my accent sound nice. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying. Ah. Okay. Like I was saying, um, tonight we are going to be discussing So like I was saying, tonight we are going to be discussing the whole learning of a thing, okay? You must give time to learning. You must, it's a must in your journey. It's a must, a must in the process, okay? You can't just say, uh, let me just keep doing, let me just keep repeating the same thing, regurgitating the same knowledge, and or you get old. Your audience will outgrow you, except you have the luxury of time and money to keep trying to get new people every time to listen to the same old boring stuff that you are talking about or you are giving up you know you are giving out now it's relative it's relative there are different kind of kinds of people yeah there are people who they are okay they are okay being boring i mean they are okay identifying as one thing for 100 years and they are not changing, they are not evolving, they are not developing. It's just the same regurgitated content over and over and over again. Hmm? And there are such people. There are such people. But there are also people who want to do more, who want more for life. I mean, who feel, who feel terrible getting stuck and they want to unstuck themselves. Okay, there are those people. 
people who are tired of just one identity people who want to do more so if you are that kind of person you must understand what is ahead of you you must understand that you have work you have work to do you have real work to do okay so don't don't be carried away let me show up let me make 100k let me make 50k let me make 20k don't be so carried away don't be so carried away the truth is this when you understand the law of leverage i i i, I do a lot on leverage i mean i talk a lot about i talk a lot about leverage all the time i'm talking about leverage and um one of the things I, I tell people or one of the things I teach when it comes to leverage is if you understand how much you can leverage on premium information or premium knowledge or premium connections or opportunities, if you understand how much you can leverage on these things, you will see that there's, 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 there's no limit to where you can get to. There's no limit to what you can achieve or attain. Okay? Um, don't fall into the trap of thinking short-term, of thinking, oh, what's in it for me now? What can I do? What can I get from it now? Right? You have to always think ahead and prepare ahead of time for the journey. Okay? So I am just trying to establish the fact that learning... Learning is a must. Learning is a must. And anything that is worth doing is worth doing really well. Okay? Anything that is worth doing is worth doing well. Okay. So good. good. Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Are we good to go? Trying to, I was trying to turn on my camera, but I, I don't think I like the look of my face right now, so I'm going to turn it right off. <laughs> so like I was saying, like I was saying, um, if you want to do something, you have to do it well. Okay, so if you're going to learn, you have to learn well. And I'm, this night, this night, I'm going to spend time demystifying a lot of things you've known about learning. A lot of things you've been taught about learning, you've been told about learning. I'm going to just demystify. I'm going to hey, I'm going to demystify a lot of those things. Okay, and um, you you can drop questions at any point. I'm not waiting for the whole thing to end before you, I start taking questions. No, drop your questions at any point. Any question you have about learning, you've been finding it difficult to learn this or learn that drop the questions now i get people ask me this a lot like how do you even learn how do you make our time to learn all the things that you know this one you are there this one you are there this one you know this you know that how do you do it you want to see my face ah you want to see my face okay okay i'm coming i'm coming so let me comb my hair and appear professional because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who will see this video in future. So, like I was saying, um, what was I even saying again? Uh -huh. So, there are many things that you've been told about learning that you need to deconstruct. Huh? Many people feel bad for some reasons. Maybe you are not able to read books like your friends. You know, somebody comes online and posts. Some things get people unnecessarily, I mean, bring attract people unnecessary depression. So somebody comes online and posts, reading my 50th book for the year. Reading my, my 50th book for the year. If you are not reading, you're on a long thing. If you are not reading books, we can, nobody can trust you, blah, 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 blah. And then you are just on your eye wondering... <laughs> It's like almost more than half of the year and I've not read up to four books. I'm doomed. You know, I'm, I'm my own don't be. What's law? Because you feel like since you are not reading books, 
you are not learning. Huh? Some other people, some other people, you know, for them it's the fact that they don't even know what to read. They don't know what to learn. They join clubs, book clubs or anything. So the, the, the leader says, read this book for the month or read that book for the month. And then they try to read. They don't understand what they are reading, but they have to read through. Huh? Or your friend posts, this is one of the best books I read this year. Ah, Copywriting Secrets by Susan Su. Oh, wonderful book. Every business owner should read this book. The fail, the fail Safe Startup by Tom Eisenman. Boom, they post it on their WhatsApp status and you're like, oh, more this guy, they read. I remember those days. I did those things, Sha. You know, I would... <laughs> Thank you, Chidima. So I would post the book that I just read or a few pages of the book that I read on my status. And then, you know, I post it on my status and somebody goes, in fact, not somebody, many people instantly, instantly, once they see the book, wow, send it to me, sir. Sir, please send. Every small thing, sir, please send. Sir, please send. And I keep wondering, are you saying, sir, please send because you actually need the book or just because you feel like, ah, could CJ is reading. Let me also read now so that uh, <laughs> I'll count myself among the land of the living. No, that's not how it works. Huh? You cannot be doing something just because just because um, other people are doing it. You can't be reading. Your choice of books should not be determined by what other people are reading, but rather, what form of clarity do you have? What level, what extent of clarity do you have? What do you really want to do? What do you really want to achieve with that knowledge you're acquiring? See, I've passed the level of acquiring useless knowledge. To be honest, there, there are things that, you know, there are things right now that you don't really need. Huh? To be very, very sincere with you, not painting words, there are things you don't need to know right now. There are things that are not your business right now. You make the mistake when you think, hey, let me just be reading everything. One day it will come in handy. It will not come in handy one day. Don't deceive yourself. <laughs> it, there are things I don't bother reading. Me, there are things I don't bother reading. I'll make plenty money so I can buy the service from people who have read those ones or people who have studied those or learned those ones, fine and good. When you waste your time trying to do and read and study what every other person is studying, you lose a lot of valuable time. Huh? Then another thing too, another mistake some people make, they jump into everything. You just buy books randomly. You just enroll in courses randomly this person posts an advert you jump in they post you pay and jump in now at the end of the day do you sit down to ask yourself who and who has passed through this what was their experience abi let me know your experience in the comment section have you have you not joined training programs and courses read books or bought books that at the end of the day after like a few days or a few courses you felt like this is like a bad financial decision you know you lost money just share your experience in the comment section i'll wait for a few minutes and see what you say Okay, I'm waiting for responses. I'm waiting for responses. Tell me, share your experience. Have you had such experiences where after, after purchasing a course or a program or something like that, you realize that this was a terrible mistake that you made? Share your experience with me. 
share your experience with us. Okay, so this is my face for those that have been looking to see my face. Yeah, this is my, my tired face. I don't even know how I'm looking now. So, really well. Yeah, so this is my face. You are satisfied with what you have seen. I cannot turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. So I wanted I wanted somebody to at least at least cite an example or just say something in the comment section. <laughs> good, good. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I I made those mistakes telling myself, yeah, I may need it in future, blah blah blah. Forget it. Some of those things after learning and after reading, before you even need it in future, you have forgotten it. So what I want you to do is focused learning. Focused learning is powerful. Okay. You have a goal in sight. You have something you want to achieve, right? You have, and it, it's when you know your why for reading, it's easier. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I would, I would, uh, what was what was that? I think that was a training I did on clarity. That was what I was on my that was what um you saw on my whiteboard. I think it's been like three or four days now. Yeah, it's been about three, four days I did that training. Uh, I was invited. So like I was saying, um sometimes before you you get to come back to what you think would help you, what you read that you think will help you. It had become it has become irrelevant, or you don't even understand, you don't even remember it again. Now, I was talking about focused learning. Having a goal in sight makes reading more enjoyable, it makes it more pleasurable, it makes it more fun for you. Not just reading. When I talk about learning, or when I mention reading, just hear learning. Because what I want you to do is learn like a champion, learn like a master. Okay. I want to get you to the point where you you can be invited for a training tomorrow. Hmm? Tomorrow. Say, ah, can you come to my program? Can you come to my church tomorrow? The speaker I invited is not coming or something like that. I would like you to speak on emotional intelligence. Is this something you can do? I want to train you to the point, if you are here at the sound of my voice, I want to train you to the point where you can take on such opportunities and you are confident you will deliver. I want to train you to the point where you can use five minutes to prepare for a three hours presentation. It's actually possible. And I tell you what I do. I tell you what I do. A lot of sessions I've had, a lot of sessions you've seen me speak at, a lot of my sessions you've joined, I never prepared for them. The ones I prepared for, if I spent more than more than five minutes preparing, it must have been an error. Must have been that something. Maybe I was preparing the thing and then I got distracted. I went to start boiling hot water for a bar or something. That was what added up to the five minutes. But I want to get you to the point where you realize how powerful you are as an active learner. As a versatile learner, as a learner who knows how to learn, who knows where to learn and what to learn from. Hmm? Focused learning helps a lot. So I know what I want to learn and I know how to go for it. So <laughs> I, 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 I once taught the W3H model for instructional design. You know, the um, what, why, why not and how for developing instructional materials, you know, writing a course outline or a book outline or whatever it is. Now, I'll teach you beyond, I'll teach you something beyond that, okay? And that is this. Um, first off, I talked about the myths I'll demystify, the things you've been told or taught about learning that I will try and 
takeaway tonight one of those things is that learning has to be through books alone if you follow me if you followed me whether you are my mentee or not you will know that this one is a no-no like you you would in fact you will be part of those spreading the awareness and advocacy learning does not have to be through books it, it must not be book it must not be book before you can say you have learned something or because before you can say you are studying no no i hardly read any book in the university i did a lot of my learning through online courses online uh, uh, uh courses posts podcasts and audio stuff understand the the way you learn that is key that is the very first thing you must do if you will learn like a master. Understand your own learning method, your own favorite, preferred learning method. Every individual, even from childhood stage, every individual has his own preferred method of learning. There is no perfect method. In fact, the only perfect method that is known to man for learning is the blended learning method. The combined learning method. So you are learning from audiovisual, kinesthetic, and uh, uh, which other one? Audiovisual, kinesthetic, and all. Now, some people are visual learners. I mean, some people are visual dominant. Okay? What I mean by visual dominant? They understand more of what they see. Right? They understand more of what they see. So when they see it written, when they see it, you know, should portrayed in form of visuals they understand it better there are some people who are audio they may not do so well with um with you know just seeing just reading notes or textbook or seeing pictures you know or seeing an illustration but when they hear they are able to replay those things that they hear multiple times in their brains they are able to capture it more huh? there are people who are who are mixed so the mix is the audio visual kind of learners so these are the ones in your class who don't have textbooks they would rather watch youtube videos and they will pass you in the exam you say they are not serious i'm that kind of person you know you you some of my classmates thought i was like they they sincerely in all humility they thought i was not serious because uh, you hardly see me reading the regular books i don't have class notes i don't have notes i'd rather borrow your own and read sha uh, read it fast and i'll give you back in fact i could be gisting with you and reading your jota and reading your notes before you know it i'm done what i want from the note and i'm i'm done like done done <laughs> you know so understand what works best for you so later on i go to my room or i'm even walking down the street to go and eat fufu and egusi soup my headphones are on my ears and i'm playing a youtube video that is going in detail of what i want to hear of what i want to learn right and by the time i'm done I will not be the one teaching those that read textbook about what they read inside their textbook. A lot of them don't understand. They don't understand. They've read it. They've tried to cram it. But the process, the how it happened, they don't know. How the nerve runs from the from the low back to the ball of the foot. They don't, they don't really understand. They've read and read and read, except they use pictures, which some don't. Right? To me, I learn a lot with videos. I learn a lot with animations. I love to imagine. Books don't give me that ability to create the imagination well. What you have with most books is ruptured imaginations. Ruptured imaginations. The kind of imagination that you imagine just to cram it and write the exam. You can imagine, okay, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, if I bring this up, many of you may not know what I mean, but uh, protocol Portocaval anastomosis. Portocaval anastomosis is is one of the network of blood vessels in in I think the the abdominal the abdomen region. 
the internal, the visceral uh, region or vis visceral space, all those things. Now, if you are going to read this in a book, you will not really get what I'm saying. In fact, I know a lot of you are already lost in the conversation, fine. But don't worry, just a few seconds to elaborate this. Then, if you are going to use an, an animation to understand the cost of these things, it will be a lot easier for you, right? For At least for somebody like me. So, I didn't like school at some point. I didn't like my lectures at some point. I felt like I was being punished to have to sit in class and listen to the lecturer just talk, just talk and blab about their material. And then at the end of the day, they give me a bulky handout. I'm not seeing the illustration. I'm not creating visual pathways. Huh? So a lot of that was dry, boring, bland, and tasteless to me. I needed more stimulation. Now, after the whole thing, right, there's another set of people that they cannot learn unless they do, unless you get them involved. Those are the kinesthetic learners. They learn by doing. They learn by action. And the truth is, there are skills you can never learn or pick up if you don't practice them. It's almost impossible. Public speaking is one of them. You can't learn public speaking by reading a book. You'll be joking. You can learn the concepts, the strategies, the models, the whatever techniques of public speaking. You can know them by theory. But until you get on that stage and practice it, you are joking. I even wanted to use art as an example. You are right. You are right. So you can imagine acting or painting or drawing, you know, and somebody comes to narrate to you, tell you the history of art in Nigeria, uh, 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 contemporary artists of Nigeria and blah, blah, blah. What happened to uh, Pablo Picasso and Lambrandt and uh, Leonardo da Vinci and all those stories. They tell you all the stories, wonderful. They tell you the types of colors and different types of pencils to use in drawing and all that, wonderful. They tell you the kind of strokes to make, huh? Kind of strokes, how to hold your pencil and draw, wonderful. But until you put that pencil on paper, until you put that paint brush on paper and make some strokes, you are going to be joking. Big fat joke. So that's one thing you need to understand. There are different ways people learn. And there are some things that require one form of learning or another. There are some that require all the forms of learning. So how do you learn best? Are you someone who learns by reading books? Are you someone who learns by watching videos? Would you want to like try out stuff? Huh? They all have their benefits. There's none that is better than the other. Just find what works for you and do that the more. Then occasionally you may have to transition. You may have you may be forced to transition. There are resources now that I may not easily find in video formats. Yes. And I will search and search, especially some of the very powerful textbooks in my profession. There are some knowledge, some things there that I may not be able to find on YouTube, right? If I search well, I may find, but it won't be easy. So what do I do? I do most of my theoretical based theoretical based learning on uh, through books then the hands on the practical aspects the visual the what creates the memory and solidifies the memory for me is videos so i use a lot of videos to solidify that memory i could remember because of the way i use videos in my second year in school to learn my anatomy by my final year even though i had not you know, touched a lot of anatomy textbooks. By my final year, I was teaching my class anatomy to prepare for their clinical exams. Before our clinical exams, I do a rundown. I could remember by third year, I had I started doing that. I'll do a rundown for my set. The, the anatomy muscles and all the joints and all that, the nerve supply, blah, blah, blah. 
I did that in my third year. I did that in my fourth year. I did that in my final year. So we do. I I started doing it almost every time. Now, why did the memory stick? I used videos. So somehow I remember. Somehow the voices of my instructors will still be playing back. As I'm talking to you now, I'm even seeing one of the videos I watched. That was, I think, in my in my second year, I'm seeing one of the videos I watched. It's playing back in my memory. The acronyms, the mnemonics, and the rest of them, they are playing back in my memory. I don't think I remember much from inside textbooks. That's the truth of the matter. And it's, it's like there's nothing to be ashamed of there. Gather all the textbooks you have. Sit down. I will, I will just, all I need is my phone and my YouTube playlist. That's all I need. YouTube and data. That's all I need. Finish your textbooks. I'll still school you. Why? I understand myself. Okay? So that's where it all begins. Okay? It doesn't have to be through um, books alone. Understand your own optimal time. Understand how best you learn, when best you learn. For some people, they prefer to learn in morning hours. If that works for you, that's fine. You can start waking up earlier to do some reading, even if it's one hour of reading before you go or one hour of study before you go. There are some people who they, they are more optimal at night, the nocturnals, the nocturnal learners. So if that's you, you that means you find it easier to learn at night, midnight, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m., 12 a.m. When everyone is asleep, you wake up and then that's when you are optimally absorbent of what you are studying. There's another category of people. Those ones may be midday. They prefer learning in the midday. Then there's a final, fourth, final category. The final category is the category of the unclassed. Unclassed. And sometimes situations and circumstances can unclass you. What do I mean? These people don't have preference for time. I don't have a preference for time. You know, when it comes to learning, I learn everywhere. At all times. At all times. I'm coming back from work in the vehicle. Sometimes I just pop up my phone. I open my, the, the textbook I'm reading and I take a glance, you know, read a few things and I continue. Because I know that I don't have that much luxury of time. One of the things that makes you makes us deceive ourselves sometimes is that we expect to create a perfect learning environment before we learn. Mm -mm. Sometimes you see people who, you know, they will come back and, you know, they want to set their table, dress the table, organize the table and organize whatever, whatever, whatever they want to organize before they will now eventually not even study they will sleep off but they yeah they've tried to set up the environment huh if you know that that is you if you know that you've been finding it difficult to find time special time devoted to learning you can decide to adopt what i do and that is to for to undo the mindset of special time okay now I, I learn everywhere, every time, all the time. I'm always in a learning mode. I follow people on social media that I can learn from. People who inspire me, people who I know they have content that, are, that, that is rich, I can learn from. That's part of the ways you learn. You learn through podcasts, videos, audio notes, audio books. People's Facebook posts, Instagram posts, you learn. There are some posts that when I get like this, I sit down and read them well. There are some that when I get them, I have playlists for everything, almost everything. Huh? So, so what is it called? When I see a, a post on business on Facebook and I read it and I love it and I know I'm going to come back to it. I save the posts and I give it a name. My playlist, I, I call them playlist or something, wherever, a group of posts. I save and I, I tag them. This one, business uh, posts. You know, business 
uh this one this one is personal development so it's public speaking this one is sales I just keep gathering them when the time comes i can always go back and i know okay this is where i stored diamonds of knowledge i stored precious rubies of knowledge and i can get them okay good so understand yourself know what time works for you what's your optimal time when is your performance at peak okay then know if you would have to open up and start doing more regardless of time whether it's morning or evening or afternoon whichever time you decide okay now now when it is time to learn and manifest how do you go about it? I want to make it as make this as easy as possible for you. I don't want you to ever have confusion again when it comes to learning. We've established the fact you don't need a, a special environment or atmosphere. You don't need to read uh, 50,000 books or you don't need to read 100 books or whatever. See, you don't... <laughs> I will still talk about this one. You, you, you know... Uh, it doesn't have to be morning or afternoon or night. I've said that one already. It doesn't have to be books alone. Okay. Now, when I talk about reading books, sometimes you feel so guilty starting a book and not finishing it. I have come to announce to you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as well. We have missed the, 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 the point of learning. We are now trying to make it look like a competition with ourselves trying to impress ourselves or impress people so when you get a book you feel like you're obligated to finishing the book let me tell you the truth i listened to a very very popular you know speaker and salesman dan lock and he said he buys some books just for one chapter in that book and once he reads them he dumps them in his library and when he needs them again he can come back to the book go through the table of content, look for the chapter he's interested in, and when he's done, he's done. Boom, he's going to another book. I want you to develop this approach. I don't want you to be feeling guilty all the time when you start reading books and you don't finish them. Yes, set goals, read books, finish books if you can, but realize that that is not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is not reading and covering many books from cover to cover. No, the ultimate goal is applicability of the knowledge you are getting. How does this knowledge translate to wisdom to solve real life's problems? Knowledge that you are just acquiring that does not translate to something that can be used, something tangible, that knowledge is useless and is just taking up space in your brain. So as much as you are intentional about acquiring knowledge, you should be intentional about the practicability of the knowledge you are acquiring. Does this thing really work? How can I make it work? How can I put this into practice and how can I see results from this? That's what makes your learning more interesting, more fascinating. Something that you... Okay, so now let's go into the crux of the matter. You have a training or you there's something you want to learn. There's a skill you really want to learn. Hmm? But you don't know how to go about it. First of all, I have done a video. I have done a lot of things for all of you here. I want to make work easy peasy for you like as easy as possible so easy that you will be angry with yourself that you do not understand these things on time huh there are some things i've learned for free that you did people pay for it there are some things that you can learn for free that till you are done on earth people will keep paying for that knowledge it's not hard. It's not rocket science. Okay? You know the problem. You know the problem you want to solve. You know the kind of knowledge that would prepare you to solve those problems. 
be ready to devote to the work required. Be ready to devote to the work required. Like I said, knowledge can be acquired through different means. I can tell you that I just received an alert right now, right now, right now. Now, that alert I received is one of my fellow interns that is enrolling for my class huh? here in the National Hospital. So next week, I'm going to be teaching them a special technique I learned when I was a student. I paid for the conference and I attended the workshop. I attended. How much did I pay? 8000 because I was a student. Student discount instead of 10 k I I guess. Now, I learned that technique. I've been talking about kinesiotaping, kinesiotaping, kinesiotaping. If you, if you watch football and you see players like C. Ronaldo, they have like tapes, patches of tape sometimes on their skin. That's a kinesiotape, right? It does a lot of things. Has a lot of functions. I learned how to use that tape. I learned how to cut, how to apply, how to, you know, you know, use it to help patients as an adjunct treatment and all that. Now I paid eight thousand naira to learn. This is also teaching you a bit about investment in knowledge. I paid eight thousand naira for that conference, for that workshop. You know, I spent time. It was meant to be a twenty hours workshop. So the first day we spent around eight hours. In the hall the second day we spent around nine hours or so or let me say seven hours probably first day was like nine hours second day was like seven hours like so i learned that i paid a little right i committed that period that two days to it huh right now there's hardly a day that i don't apply that tip for at least one patient for each patient i apply it for they will pay me <laughs> they will pay me will pay me and now i'm teaching my my colleagues how to use the tip how to apply the tip right and i'm billing them and they, would they pay why not they will definitely pay huh so you see how knowledge rewards you there are some things you are going to learn now that will pay your bills till tomorrow I mean, the tomorrow I mean is not tomorrow, tomorrow. I mean, till whenever. That's why you must be keen on acquiring knowledge. And sometimes, don't be so frustrated when you acquire knowledge and you try to sell your knowledge and it seems like it's not working. It seems like you're not making money from selling your knowledge and all. Sometimes you've just not found the right environment. The same thing you know in a different environment can bring you millions. This is one thing that you should be comfortable with. This same thing, the same thing you know right now, Roda Odiri, the same thing you know, there's no change. You are not reading any book. You are not taking any course. The same thing you know right now can bring you millions of dollars in another environment. So don't beat yourself up, right? Keep preparing. Keep getting hotter. Keep getting hotter. Competence will force money out of people's pockets. I treated a patient the other day. Two days ago, I treated a patient. I wasn't even meant to see the patient. It was my Oga's patient. But because uh, my Oga was not around, he was going to see another patient. So I was like, the one he trusted around was like, okay, um, just wait for Chiji, okay? He's going to come. He's going to the ward. You know? So I went to the wards and I, I came back. I met the man and I was like, okay, let me just see the man. It was a free service. I treated him and he got down. He was like, yeah, I actually feel better. I feel better. Wow, I'm able, I'm able to stand straight. That was like a good milestone for him. So the, my brother, follow my brother to the car. He wants to give you some. He's going to give you something. He spoke in his dialect. He spoke in his dialect. And, and within all the things that he said, I had 10K. I had 10,000. When I heard the 10,000, my ears did like antenna. I knew the 10,000 was for me. But, you know, I got to pretend like a humble boy. I had to be humble and, you know, diligent. To my, I'm here for work. I'm not here for money. You know, that kind of vibe. I followed the, the brother to the car. I had thank you again. I, that was a confirmation of the, the you know, the, the promise. Stood beside the, the, the car and 
Next thing, he pulled out a wad of cash, 10,000 naira cash, and handed it to me. Now, eh, to be honest with you, most times when patients give me money in the clinic, I reject the money. Like, I initially reject the money. Like, no, ah, ma, why do you worry? No, don't, no, <laughs> ma, don't worry. You don't, you didn't have to, you didn't have to. You know, like, giving me 2,000, 3,000, 2,500. Like, no, ma, you didn't, <laughs> don't worry. Ah, no, I just decided to, <laughs> don't worry. Thank you, ma, thank you, ma. So most times they will now start fighting me. It's when they now start fighting. Ah, no, no, my son, please take, please take, please take. I'll now move close a little bit so that the pocket of my word coat will come close to their hand. They'll now drop it like offering. The way they drop in offering box. <laughs> when they drop it in, I'll now be happy. I'll say, okay, I thank you, man. Thank you so much, man. You know, but that particular one, thank you. In this era of fair subsidy removal, my dear, my dear people, I collected the money and I said, thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much. I did not want to make mistake and go and say, eh, sir, please don't worry. Before he will not now worry, I collect his money back. So please, I said, thank you, sir. I repeated the thank you like three times so that it will counterbalance everything. Ah, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you. You know? But it's all stemming from knowledge. I'm coming somewhere. I'm coming somewhere. It's coming from knowledge. Huh? Knowledge acquired. Knowledge converts to a form of energy. Knowledge is an energy source. The more you acquire knowledge, the more you build up potential. Potential energy is stored up in you. You keep acquiring, it's stored up. The moment you find an avenue to practice and practice and practice and practice, you are converting. You are converting. You are converting that knowledge to bits and bits of from potential to kinetic. Force in motion. Energy in motion. Now, as you keep converting to bits and pieces, to bits and pieces, so there's a mixture of potential and kinetic, it gets to a point when you are giving the stage, you are explosive. Right on the stage, you are no longer, is no longer potential. No, this is pure kinetic. You are in motion. And anybody who stops you, you are going to cut the person apart. You can, you, you become explosive. That is when people begin to enjoy your presence. People begin to enjoy your delivery. Right? And at that point, more opportunities come to you. But it stems from knowledge. And knowledge producing confidence. And confidence producing competence. Are you with me tonight? Are you getting something tonight? Are you getting something tonight? Is there any... Is, is there anything that is changing tonight? Mm. I would like to see your comments. I would like to see your comments. Let me know that you are following. Okay, and one thing you can do at this point also hit the like button. Hit the like button. So that the algorithm will not be vexing for me. Okay. So like I was saying, good, good, good. Rhoda is with me. Grace is with me. Who else is with me? If you are not with me, you're against me. You're against me. Ruth is following. Beautiful. <laughs> Roda, Roda. Roda said he's my rich mentor. <laughs> she, I'm giving you rich mentor vibes. <laughs> you know, one thing I've come to realize is this. Money is easy to make. Money is easy to make if you understand how. If you understand how it works, if you understand the principles, you won't be chasing. I mean, you won't be so, like, you know the way some people chase after money online. Buy now, buy now, buy the book now. They will put an exclamation mark, five exclamation marks. 
You are the one wasting your time and your life. If you don't get this now, thunder will fire you and your family. No, thunder will not fire anybody. It's just hunger and poverty that is doing you. People are so desperate. People are so desperate because they don't understand how money works. And yes, it may work for a short term. But the truth is, money is an it, money and cause of value. Money and value are boyfriend and girlfriend. They are always talking to each other. They are dependent on each other. They are doing endless phone calls and smiling like Momo together. That is money and value. Acquire value, money will purchase. I mean, money will pursue you. That's the truth. At some point, you'll be the one rejecting. There are things now that I reject. I know they will bring me money, but I value my peace of mind the more. There are things I reject. There are offers I reject. There are offers I intentionally make more expensive. The patient was trying to get me to start coming to see the, the brother privately. We discussed price. She beat down my price and I said, I'll think about it. This is now me that is doing guy. At the end of the day, when we met again, I said, I've thought about it too. The price is not convenient for me. This is the challenge. This is where I stay. This is where you stay. I think it's going to take me a lot more and blah, 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 blah. Man, she had, I said, this is my price. And I'm not taking anything down. I'm not taking a single dime down from this after with you. I, my actual price for this is this. But for me to come and see, I would reduce. I agreed to reduce by this amount so i'm stopping at this at the end of the day she agreed with my price even though she has agreed me i will still do small shakara because I, I really don't have time but why am i being sought for in the first place credibility competence knowledge I'm ready to learn. See, one of the things that will make you a powerful learner is when you begin to understand, see yourself as a mumu. See yourself as somebody who doesn't know anything and needs to know a lot. See yourself as somebody in the ocean of not of new knowledge. You are right in the ocean of new knowledge. You there's there's a lot of gaps you need to cover. At some point, I became less bothered about showing up online. I mean, coming up to let people see me this way or let people know that I'm expert. All those things just get out. The only pressure I'm under now is pressure to learn, not pressure to impress anybody. I'm under pressure to learn. Reason being that I have learned some things. I have practiced those things and I've seen how powerful they are. I've seen how powerful knowledge is when well translated into action. I've seen how powerful it is. And I know that the more knowledge I acquire, the more powerful I become. <laughs> Money and value are boyfriend and girlfriend. Wonderful. Thank you for putting that down. <laughs> okay. So like I was saying, pursue value. Money will come. Most definitely. So, Another thing that would help you in this journey, in this quest. <clears throat> Sorry. So, another thing that would help you is this. Learn how to learn rapid. I call it rapid learning. You don't need to eliminate the mindset of feeling like I need 10,000 hours before I can call myself an expert or before I can manifest or before I can sell my skill. No, you don't need 10,000 hours. You need the right resources. You need the right kind of commitments. You need the right environment to nurture what you are learning. I mean, if that's, I, like, I so much believe whatever you want to learn, you can learn it in less than, less than 10% of the average time people claim you need. Huh? So people say, eh, you can never master coding if you don't do it for six months. My dear, you can master coding in a month. It depends on a lot of factors. I don't know where people get some of their silly rules from. You are different. See yourself as different. There are skills I have looked at and I picked them up in a day. 
there are skills things micro skills that i picked up in a day one day just like four hours five hours i was done the first the first uh 25k or the first the first yeah the first 25k i made online that was actually the first time i was making bulk money online was from a free training i did i joined the free training they will come and send 15 minutes video graphics how to do graphics ah i say me watch 15 minutes of video me which time i beg this one just did make it make it they go your house just the just a shift it was a paid training my friend added me to the training for free because she has been attending my training and my training has you know my trainings have been blessing her so much that she felt heavily indebted then i was just doing free training up and down like father christmas now next thing she will drop bah, how to do video animation i'll see 20 minutes i say ah 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 me see it watching this video for 20 minutes okay later i'll do it later i'll do it later next thing bah, how to design whatever whatever how to do editing or video whatever bah, 15 minutes or 20 minutes i'll jump down one again then all of a sudden i now saw one video five minutes ah yeah yeah how to do intro videos how to design intro videos for five minutes i think it was four minutes plus i opened it immediately watched it i tried it out it worked for me i was like yes now we come now we are talking right i opened the video and i learned that and that particular skill i learned it and i put it on my status i told people if you want me to do this for you you can pay you can also do it for people if you want to learn from me reach out and people started reaching out piam 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 i've made 25k i was like so this is how life can be sweet huh the power of knowledge so what i'm driving at is that you don't need 10,000 hours before you start selling your skill. You just need to get really good at it. Take feedback. Let people give you feedback. One of the secrets I give people about learning, or well, learning any skill, learn, practice, and teach. Learn, practice, teach. Learn the skill. Take time to learn it and learn it again. Learn it and learn it again. Practice, practice, practice. Then find a way to teach people that skill collect feedback receive feedback receive feedback okay this is how you performed volunteer to practice more then you know find a way to you know, teach one or two persons that skill if you can that one is an option is an alternative i mean how do i put it it's optional right now having known all this this will help you set your path straight find the right resources you have solved a lot of the problem when you are using the right resources so one of the things that will help you find the right resources is go to the video sessions go to the youtube sessions go to the amazon reviews check reviews check testimonials people who have read this book what are they saying about the book huh People who have uh, uh, bought this course, what are they saying exactly? In all honesty, not because they bought it so that they can sell it. So you know, if they don't uh, uh, market it like like Ponzi, nobody's gonna buy. No, no, no. I mean, who genuinely has tasted this thing and has seen results? Hmm. You learn from them. You obtain their feedback and you decide whether it's something you embark on. Something that helps me a lot. So when I want to deliver a training or something, when I want to launch a program, let me give you a simple blueprint I used then. So I want to launch a program on personal development. Yeah. On personal development. One of the things I would do is I would go and I'll go and find like three courses on personal development, three online courses. Or let me use another example. When I wanted to teach, start training people on networking, how to meet and connect with people, I found that it was easy for me. Like I could come into a room filled with strangers 
and you walk in with me. And after after one hour, you're now beginning to ask me, like, are you related with this person? Have you known this one from anywhere? Have you done anything for this person before? Are you people brothers? Because me, I don't know how it happens, but I know. I magnet, I magnet people. Now, I decided to put this in writing, but I experienced difficulty. How do I start? Where do I start? What do I, how do I coin and twist all these things? So I decided that I was going to go and see how other people do it. Sometimes you already have the knowledge piece. Sometimes you already have everything. All you need is the framework. All you need is the skeleton to wear the flesh upon. So sometimes I pay people to see their skeleton. Sometimes I buy books to see their skeleton. I take courses to see the skeleton. Okay, what is the framework upon which this course is built? How did this person structure this course? With that, I'll now know the right approach to take or get feedback. Okay, good. So do that a lot. You can decide to, you want to launch into something now. So like I was saying, don't mind me and my blocked nose. <laughs> so like I was saying, you want to launch into something, an aspect of personal or professional development, give yourself some time. It could be two weeks, it could be three weeks, it could be four months. Give yourself some time. You can decide to do one course every week. Look for four top quality courses, whether they are free or paid. Nobody cares. Nobody actually cares. Huh? Look for four top quality courses. Take those four courses. Four is not a magic number. It could be two. It could be three. Huh? But please, let it be more than one. And let it be very rich in content. Take those courses. Find at least, even if it's one book, even if you don't finish the entire book, get the perspective of the writer. To an extent, get the perspective of the writer. Okay, now you can do audio course. You can even do YouTube. Go to YouTube. See what, what are people talking about in this area. So with that, it will become obvious to you what you should be spending time on. So when you now want to produce your own, when you want to give out value, when you want to do, you can easily drop your own skeleton. At that point, because you have consumed a lot of knowledge, Randomly, I, I read randomly. Sometimes I don't jot. If jotting works for you, that's fine. Do it. Do whatever works for you. Huh? So for me, most times, I don't have time to jot. I just read through. You know? I read through. And then I read here. I read from here. I read from here. I take this course. I take that course. Now, at the end of the day, I'm able to sketch a framework, a skeleton. Now, with that skeleton, touch me anytime. I can reel off. I can explain. I can, you know, talk. I can build. I can do this and do that because I have gathered from many waters. People usually get confused because they are not prepared. People usually get come very confused because they are not prepared. So when they now come to the point where the opportunity comes, that's when their preparation starts. It's not meant to be like that. You should have been voraciously preparing so that once you, once the opportunity presents itself, you are striking. You are striking. So go ahead. Learn. Learn with the right resources. Find the right resources. Be in the network of the right people. Learn, 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 learn. Keep learning. Keep practicing. Then once there's an opportunity to show that you have really learned, man, go ahead and explode. It's going to be a lot easier from there. Okay? Never make excuses. 
for not learning. Never make excuses for not learning. Okay? Always create time to upgrade yourself, to update yourself. If not, you're going to wear away. You're going to be obsolete. Okay? So I'm going to stop this here. And I hope this has been really, this has been really helpful to you. Okay? Any other thing will come as questions. And we have just five minutes to drop questions um, in the comment section. Okay? We have five minutes. And after the five minutes, I'm closing the call. We have hit the one hour mark. And I don't want you to slip off. I know some people have already slept off. Let me see who is sleeping. Let me see who is sleeping. Let me see who is sleeping. Mm. Yes, Chidima, I'm suspecting Chidima. Chidima is no longer talking. Chidima, have you slept off? And Linda, Linda is no longer talking. I mean, you came to show face and run you. Questions, 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 questions. We have one minute. Uh, one minute has passed already. Remaining four. Okay, beautiful. Rhoda is here. Chris Yodin Day is here. Okay. I can't wait for the day I'll see all of you in person. Can't wait. Believe Elisha is here. Oh, beautiful. So we have three. We have three. And I said three wise men. Well, now it's three wise human beings. Reliability. <laughs> Good to have you here. Good to have you. So in the absence of questions, in the absence of questions, I think I'll end the call. Since you are not bringing questions, I expected questions for this session. I expected questions, or maybe you can even, you can still ask on the group. You know, you, I wasn't able to make it as interactive as I wanted to, um, just because I wanted us to cover up, like cover this for tonight. If there's any question at all around this bothering you, you want me to address, definitely you can always ask on the group. You can always ask on the group. So you all have a wonderful night rest. Don't forget to hit the like button. You all have a wonderful night rest. And um, don't, don't, what did I ever want to see? Yeah, just <laughs> have a wonderful night rest. Uh -huh. I said, let me, let me, let me end the call before I start talking nonsense because I'm actually exhausted. I'm actually exhausted before I start saying strange things. Where's your jam for tonight? <laughs> <laughs>